Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I'm a little teed off, just a little bit. Let me go ahead and say this: this is going to be a spoiler um, video, talking about a few things, Dave Chappelle, as well as Halloween Kills. So I know it's kind of weird. It's two weirdly different things, but they're closer than you know. See, the closer just came out on Netflix. It's a Dave Chappelle Netflix special, and he's had a couple of these. And on every single one he's had, he's got backlash by, you know, mainly people on Twitter that just want to cancel him. Because what he says about, you know, woke culture, as well as the LGBTQ community. Now, I don't think these people that are protesting has watched these because in his videos or his specials he talks great about the community and all he wants is everybody to get along and that's what I want I just want everybody to get along I don't care if you're gay or straight or trans that shouldn't that shouldn't affect how I feel about you that shouldn't shouldn't be even one thing it, to me you're just a person just like me Sure, I'm white, and I'm a male, but we all have the same issues. We all do. We do. We share We share this planet, and we're always at each other's throat for stupid things. The Dave Chappelle thing, it's jokes. It's always been jokes. Dave Chappelle's never been afraid to, you know, go there. If you ever watch his old TV show, the the Chappelle show, he goes there. His he does not have any problems with like LGBTU culture. It's white people. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. But for some odd reason they're saying that Dave Chappelle is a big homophobe and a transphobe. During the closer, he talks about a trans um uh member that he hung out with who did some comedy and I guess she sucked but she got on Twitter and tried to defend Dave and later on she killed herself because the Twitter mob decides to attack one of their one peop one of the people's in their actual community who calls a trans person to commit suicide. I don't think you know, the people who's protesting watch that part or even researched anything about Chappelle or any of his other previous uh, specials. Shit, even going back to the old days of Chappelle show. It's, it's a thing like people want to attack and not research. They want to go straight to the throat without doing the work to find out if this is true. And it's usually on Twitter. Twitter is the biggest... It's dumb. Twitter's... It's it's bad. It sucks. And I hate to say that. I do have a Twitter following, but it's not much. Um, and I, you know, my channel's not that big. And, you know, it might get canceled. It's... I don't care anymore. I'm just getting tired of seeing, like... People just acting so hateful, like so much hate, and it doesn't make sense. I was reading today, I was on my Facebook uh, timeline, I saw an article from Yahoo News. This was actually, this was put out October 20th, it's a three minute read, and the headline of this article was Halloween's bone chilling villain Michael Myers is homophobic in the new film. This is where we're going to get into spoilers, guys. So if you haven't watched Halloween Kills yet, pause this, go watch Halloween Kills, and come back. I would like to have a discussion on this. So I'm just, just warning you that way you know. So I, I watch Halloween Kills. I'm a big fan of Halloween in general as a series. Uh, the first one and all the crappy ones. 
I like them. They're great. Michael Myers is this force of nature. He kills. That's all he does. He's just, he kills. We don't know why he kills. We don't know why he does it, but he does it. And he doesn't discriminate who he kills. He doesn't. Men, women, uh, people of color, Exhibit. I don't think Exhibit died. I think he won. I, I don't know. It's been so long since I watched that. I think it's Resurrection or something. It's been a long time. But the uh, newest movies kind of retconned. They go back to the first movie, and the newest movies are true sequels to the original movie, and it kind of retconned the rest of it is no longer canon. And in the newest film, Michael Myers is trying to get back to his home where he was born and raised. So his childhood home. Well, just like that in the very first movie, he got the Hayden filled and he went to his home. That's what happened. He went to his home. And in the newer movies, especially Halloween Kills, there's a, a gay couple in the movies. And it was some really cool characters, by the way. They actually stole the, a whole movie for me. It was great because it had a dude who played Stuart from Mad TV. And they were so comical. So one of my favorite parts, like anytime those guys are on the camera, I had a blast with them. They were just fun. But they had to be in Michael Myers' home. They're the new owners of it. And they they found out that Michael Myers is loose again. And they get killed. The, the scenes leading up to it is really funny because they, they just play it off and, you know, grabbing little knives and big knives. And they just happen to be a gay couple living in the wrong house. Michael Myers didn't go to that house and be like, you know what? Want to kill me some gays? That's what I feel like doing. Mainly because Michael Myers doesn't talk, and Michael Myers, why would he care your sexual orientation when he's going to stab you right in the head? There's no motive that we know of in the whole Halloween universe of why Michael Myers is the way he is. I I'm going to put a link down in the description where we found this. I'm just, it's just weird. I, I know going from Dave Chappelle to Halloween, it's kind of, this just, the subject's there. You see Twitter is freaking out. Hashtag Michael Myers is transphobic or homophobic because he kills two gay guys. And the movie has really good representation. There's people of color getting killed. There's white people getting killed. There's women. There's children. I think there was some children, maybe. Uh, all kinds of all kinds of people. It just happened to be that the people that own Michael Myers' childhood home just happened to be gay. And, but I don't think Michael Myers wrote down on a piece of paper and said, "I must kill homosexuals." I don't I don't think he did that. I think he didn't care and killed the people that was in his house. That was Michael Myers' house. It was his. He just killed them because of the way they are. He just kills old people. Michael Myers just kills people, man. That's what he does. For no for no reason. He's pure evil. Like if you do any watch any of the movies and you experience some of the lore he there's something supernatural about him but he's also just a man and I, the only thing that he does is kill because he is pure evil 
the manifestation of pure evil. I don't understand. I don't understand why this article existed. It's dumb. It's really dumb, actually. I don't even... It's so fucking dumb. I just, I just wish people would stop. Stop trying to cancel comedy. Stop trying, stop being pussies, please. I support trans rights. I support gay rights. I support uh, people of color. I support everybody. I think that's how it should be. I think people can still have fun. But it's for clicks. You know what? They, the, they probably made it just because they know that was going to get some clicks. It's going to get some people triggered that hasn't seen the movie. And they're going to be like, oh, no, I can't watch that movie. Michael Myers is a homophobe now. He just kills gay people. Damn him. Fucking cancel culture, man. It's fucking dumb. It's really dumb. And I know this video is probably going to get downvoted to hell. I don't really care. I'm just tired of it. Just tired of it. Like, I feel bad for Dave Chappelle. Like, and you, you know, you say whatever you want about me. That's fine. I don't care. I don't give two fucks what you think about me. Like, I'm not here to hurt your feelings. I'm here to talk about something that just bugs me. And, you know, I kind of feel like I have this right to think this way. I, I have the right to do that. It doesn't, doesn't make sense why I can't think, like, look at these things that's going on in media. Like, media is making... Joe Rogan look like he's doing horse dewormer, trying to cancel Joe Rogan. They're trying to cancel Dave Chappelle, trying to cancel Michael Myers. They want to cancel everything. It's going to be a dystopian world full of just overly offended people that can't take jokes. It's, it's dumb. It's really dumb. It needs to stop. Now, any of my viewers, I just want you to know if you know, you're a part of the LGBTQ community, if you're a POC, or if you're a Democrat, left, left, or if you're a Republican, you're welcome here. You're welcome here. I'm not going to judge you. Just, I'm not. It's just how it's going to be. You guys are welcome. And if you guys have some opinions, I'd love to talk to you about. I really do. I'd, I'd like to have an open discussion with you guys. So I kind of feel that it's important, even though I kind of, you get me stuttering because I, you know, I, I'm excited. My anxiety is just like, fuck you. And yeah, I don't know, guys. This, this is, it was on my mind today. I, I've been driving. And as soon as I saw that uh, article from Yahoo News, I just, I had to make a video about it just to see. And I, I hope you guys, you know, I hope I didn't offend anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. That's what the only thing I can say. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to make content and tell you how I feel. And like I said, you're welcome here no matter what. If you want to, feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more content like this, Definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. But until you, till then, till then, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.